The reason why hotspots work so well to prioritize technical debt and code health issues is visible in this graph. What you see here is each filing react on the x-axis, and these files are sorted according to this change frequency, which is what you see on the y-axis. So this is the development activity as measured in from version control. Now, what you see here is a very clear power law shape. And this is something that's not unique to this code base. This is something I've seen in every single code base. What this means is that most of the code is going to be here in the long tail. So it's code that's rarely, if ever, touched. That's the part of a code where we can fairly safely live with a certain degree of technical debt because it's low impact, it's low interest. What the hotspots do is focus on the parts of the code, and let me zoom in, on the parts of the code that are here at the head of the curve. That's the part of the code with the high development activity and any technical debt in that part of the code is likely to have a very high interest. It's likely to be expensive. So what the hotspots do is that they help you zoom in on the actively developed parts of the code, like we do here in React, so that you can inspect them and make sure that they all have a good code health. To summarize, most of your code is going to be in the long tail. This is technical debt with low interest. On the other hand, any code quality issues in the hotspot are very expensive. This is high interest debt. Finally, hotspots only make up a very small percentage of the total code base, but they do attract a lot of the development activity.